The first made in India semiconductor chip has been introduced in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav presented the production and packaging of the first Indian made semiconductor chips at the Semiconductor Hub in Mohali, Punjab. Let's take a look at why this is a breakthrough moment for India's tech rise in the 21st century, even though India is at least a decade late to the party. Ashwini Vaishnav added, just a few years ago, we met for the first time to make a new beginning driven by our Prime Minister's far-sighted vision. We launched the India Semiconductor Mission. In a short span of 3.5 years, we have the world looking at India with confidence. Today, the construction of five semiconductor units is going on at a rapid pace. We just presented the first Made in India chip to Prime Minister Modi." Unquote. He mentioned how, in this time of global unrest, India is moving forward steadily because of the secured policies. He added, We are living in unprecedented times. Global policy turmoil has created huge uncertainty. In these turbulent times, India stands as a lighthouse of stability and growth. In these uncertain times, you should come to India because our policies are stable." Unquote. The Vikram, officially called Vikram 3201, is India's first fully indigenous 32-bit semiconductor processor chip developed by the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO's Semiconductor Laboratory in Chandigarh. It is designed specially for use in space missions such as powering launch vehicle navigation, guidance and control systems and is qualified to withstand the extreme conditions of rocket launches and space environments. The chip was manufactured using a 180 nanometer CMOS process at SCL's facility in Mohali, Punjab and incorporates features such as floating point arithmetic and support for the other programming language. Vikram 3201 is the successor to the 16-bit Vikram 1601 chip, which has been powering ISRO's launch vehicles since 2009. The initial lot of these chips has already been successfully validated in space during the PSLV C60 mission, underscoring its reliability for future space applications. The chip supports floating point operations essential for precise space navigation and control, it is built to withstand extreme conditions including intense vibrations during rocket launches, wide temperatures ranges from 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius and withstand cosmic radiation. The Vikram 32 chip performed successfully during in-flight validation on the PSLV C60 mission. The space docking experiment mission was conducted in January 2025, which was a successful demonstration where two small spacecraft docked and undocked in orbit. It was deployed in the mission management computer of the PSLV Orbital Experimental Module where it demonstrated robust performance under actual space conditions. This validation provided definitive proof of its space worthiness, operational reliability and readiness for future space missions. The Vikram 3201 chip is important for India because it marks a major milestone in achieving technological self-reliance in space-grade semiconductor technology. Not only it is country's first fully indigenous 32-bit microprocessor designed to withstand the harsh conditions of space launch, such as extreme temperatures, radiation and vibrations, ensuring the reliability and safety of critical launch vehicles, navigation, guidance and control systems, but also breaks India's dependence on foreign suppliers for high reliability, critical aerospace electronics that enhance national security and strategic autonomy. Additionally, the Vikram 3201 represents a generational leap over the previous 16-bit processor used by the ISRO, offering greater computational power, support for floating-point arithmetic, and compatibility with safety-critical programming languages like the other. Its success opens the door for broader applications and future space missions, and the chip's development also showcases India's growing semiconductor ecosystem involving in-house design, fabrication, and software tools. By having complete control over the design, fabrication, validation and software ecosystem, including compilers and tool chains, India can avoid risks tied to supply chain disruptions, export restrictions or security vulnerabilities associated with foreign technology. This self-reliance enhances national security, 
cuts import bills and boosts the local semiconductor ecosystem. The world's largest semiconductor producer in 2025 is Taiwan, primarily due to the dominance of Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company or the TSMC. Now, TSMC controls over 55% of global foundry market and produces advanced chips using cutting-edge processes like the 3 nanometer and 2 nm technology. It serves major global tech companies such as Apple, Nvidia, AMD and Qualcomm, making it a central player in the global semiconductor industry. Other major players include the United States with companies like Intel, Nvidia and AMD focusing on chip design and innovation. And South Korea led by Samsung and SK Hynix specializing in memory chips. Now, India aims to capture a significant share of the growing global semiconductor market projected to reach $100 billion by 2030 and to position itself as a crucial hub in the global semiconductor supply chain. The country plans to begin commercial semiconductor manufacturing by the end of this year or 2025 bagged by substantial investments totaling around $18 billion across 10 major projects. The Indian government is providing strong policy support through the India Semiconductor Mission and production-linked incentive schemes, accelerating infrastructure development and attracting global collaborations. The ambitions include advancing chip design technology to 3 nanometer process, modernizing foundries and expanding an ecosystem that covers research, design, fabrication, assembly, testing and packaging. The development of indigenous chips like Vikram 3201 microprocessor exemplifies India's move from reliance on imports to becoming a chip producer and innovator. But why do you think India needs to be at the forefront of semiconductor design and manufacturing in the 21st century? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.